previously we've done stuff about nodes and materials before, so I figure we'll delve a bit more into that today. Hey guys, welcome back to Tatsu by Kai, I'm Kai, and today we are back in Blender once again taking a look at how to use the holdout shader, um, which is a really, 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 really cool uh, little uh, uh, material, pretty much, that I don't see a lot of people use uh, that can be really, really, really... Um, utilized to its uh, full potential, especially in motion graphics and um, and things in that kind of nature. So let's get started really quickly. I want to go ahead and, and hit Shift A and add in a circle um, and change the fill type to Nagan. Uh, I actually need to update my Blender. I'm on 278 right now because I had just recently redone my computer um, and I haven't updated yet. I know it's crazy, um, but that does not change the whole lot shader. So we're going to go ahead and take a look at uh, that today. We're RX 90 on my keyboard. We're going to move that forward. And I'm going to go to the materials and add in a new material. I'm going to change this to Cycles Render, by the way. Um, and we'll give our plane the default material and the new material we just made for the circle. All right. So I'm going to change this from Diffuse to Holdout. And what this is going to do is um, if I go into my camera's view and we'll go to Render Viewport Trading, uh, what, we're gonna, what you're going to see here is this is created a black circle now. And I can move this around. And it's not just actually a black material. It's it's, it's different than when you uh, make the diffuse color black. It's different. So the way I can tell you is go to the render tab here. And we're going to scroll on down to film and tick transparent. And as you can see, we have a transparent circle now. Instead of it being black, since we have turned transparency on, you can actually see that we have uh, transparency. And this is really, 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 really neat. Because what we can do with this essentially is... Um, make it look like something is fading in and out from a uh, a transparent overlay intro that you see them all the time on YouTube um, and uh, and they're really really great they're really really great they're really very really cool um, so just a quick example here is what we can do with this I can go ahead and go to the tenth frame insert a uh, and scale this up actually uh, scale this down rather um, and we can insert a keyframe of scaling by hitting I go to the first frame hit I scaling and what I can do here is on the first frame, hit uh, S and make that uh, make that really big. Hit uh, scaling. And now on the second frame, we can scale this by hitting S and zero on the numpad down to zero and, and insert the scaling keyframe. So as you can tell now, we have a circle that kind of zooms on down, right? And what this looks like with the holdout shader is it's completely transparent, right? So then as we progress through the frames, you can see that we have the circle coming on into the shot, um, kind of like a Looney Tunes uh, Bugs Bunny kind of ending right there, right? And what we can also do is, actually, as you can see, the holdout shader is actually casting a shadow. So the way we can get rid of that is we can actually go ahead go ahead to this object tab, scroll on down to cycle settings, and turn off uh, glossy, diffuse, shadow, volume scatter, and transmission. If you turn off camera, then you won't be able to see it. All right, so now we have that smooth motion graphic here. And if I turn the uh, passive part out, however you say that, uh, all the way up on my camera, you can see that we have... Um, that coming in ever so slightly. It looks really great. You can use it for so many different things, but I do want to warn you that one thing you cannot do with this is you cannot actually see things. Like if you want to see a cube that's behind this plane, it doesn't, it doesn't actually work in the way that it only will get rid of the plane. It will actually get rid of the cube as well. So if I go ahead and I put a cube here and, um, and change this color to red, orange, um, then you will see that you can't actually see the cube behind the holdout shader. The holdout shader gets rid of everything behind it um, except for the transparency. So you will actually be able to tell that you can't see the cube at all. Just want to give you that bit of a warning. Now, so go out and have some fun with the holdout shader. Do some awesome motion, motion graphic intros, which I'm going to be having a tutorial on very soon as well. Um, so stay tuned for that. I will see you guys in the next tutorial, but until then, bye.